Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it is, what's today? Tuesday, the day after New Year's Day. Um, and um, I'm just coming on because I'm making dinner. So what I'm making is, you know how I make a hibachi rice? I'm going to make hibachi noodles and with a twist, instead of putting chicken in it, like in chicken, whatever, I'm going to put mini Asian freaking meatballs. So excited. So excited. Need something different after all the holiday hoople food and all that. We still have leftovers. We'll have the rest of the week. I mean, we got, we ate some stuff today. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get through all that. But I have this chopped meat here that I bought the other day. Billy had a hamburger out of it and I have it left over. So I wanted something different tonight. So I said, let me make some freaking Asian meatballs. And since I have noodles left over, I'm just adding to them and I'm making some more noodles. Instead of making hibachi rice, I'm going to make hibachi noodles because we have a lot of hibachi rice. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. So anyway, yeah, so that's what we're going to get going now. I'm going to make the, the meatball mixture up, then fry them um, for a few minutes in some olive oil, and then add all the Asian stuff to it, and then with the noodles and all that stuff. So I'll take you along as I'm doing this, guys. This is one of my other new shirts I wanted to show you. I didn't show you all together, so I'm just showing you as I, as I watch, as I wear them. This is one that I got too. This is, I think it's a medium or it's definitely a medium or a large. I forget. I think it's a large, but uh, yeah, nice and comfy and cozy and thin. I, this is, this is exactly what I like because I don't like really heavy, but I don't like really fit. I don't like, you know, I don't really, I don't like really heavy. So this is a, a this is like a perfect kind of thing. Um, nice and comfortable and um, yeah, long sleeve, nice and good. So we're gonna get started on the meatball mixture and then I will show you guys. All right. What is that, an earthquake? Today? Yeah. My God, there was an earthquake in New York City today? No. That was 2011, Bill. Oh, I'm sorry. My God, 2011. An earthquake in New York City in 2011? I don't remember that. Okay, let's get going. So I have this chopped meat here. I'm gonna make the meatballs. My hands are clean. I just washed them. I paused and I washed them. So don't come at me, guys. Don't judge me. My hands are clean. All right, Linda, stop. Let's get, let's get going. So we need onion powder, <coughs> garlic powder, I gotta fill, I still haven't filled all my things. This week, I've started to do all that kind of stuff. All right, so I got. Okay, a little bit of garlic. And these, these meatballs are going to be Asian-based, so. Um, you know. But they're going to have, you know, salt and pepper. They'll have pepper and um, garlic powder and onion powder. I don't think there's much in here, honestly. Hello. I'm not gonna go crazy with the salt because it's gonna be soy sauce and stuff in there and I don't wanna overly salt it. Okay, okay. Salt and pepper. Um, I'm gonna put one egg in it. But I'm not putting any breadcrumbs, I don't think. I 
maybe I will put a little bit of breadcrumbs. All right, so <coughs> I put one egg in it. <coughs> a little bit of breadcrumbs. This is a new soy sauce. So I took down, we took down all our Christmas stuff today, guys. I'll show you as later. Hopefully before this video is over, I will remember. <coughs> And we put up all our other stuff back up and yeah. So holidays are over. Some soy sauce. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, sesame oil. Mm, so yummy. A tiny bit of fish sauce. This, guys, is awesome in Asian dishes, but you just need just a little bit. Not a lot, because it, you know, a little is enough. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic, minced garlic. I'm fighting this cold. Poor Jenny went home to her group home. And, you know, it's because it's the state. They had to take her to the doctor this morning. So she couldn't go to her program. So she wasn't happy. They had to take a COVID test. They took a COVID test at the office. They have to wait for that to come back. And then they took one at the, the house, which is, was negative. But it's just a whole big thing with the state. This whole protocol thing with... You know, they have to do certain things. She's got to be, has a mask on, quarantine, and all this crap. I'm just so aggravated, you know, and especially that the test was negative. They're making her wear a mask in the, at, the, at the group home, and she can't eat with the other girls. She can only hang out with her, with her roommate when she has a mask on. And meanwhile, it's negative. So it's like, there's no reason for that. Like, I feel like if the, if the test was negative, why are they making her do those things, you know? So, um... I'm just annoyed with it, but hopefully when the um, when the test comes back from the from the doctor's office, it'll say negative, and then um, you know she can come out of that whole situation. But it's like so frustrating, and just she's just been having cold after cold ever since she moved in there. It's like I guess because she's around all the girls, and you know it's just a lot. But she's just been getting cold over and over. The kid never used the kid. She's 34, but I call her the kid. She used, she used to get sick once a year, if that. Never did, did she get sick. It's like, it's just really crazy what's going on. It really is crazy. So, yeah, so that's the story with that. So I'm going to put some scallions in here, and I'm also going to put some onions. Let me, um, so it's just difficult with the, it's cause, because, you know, it's the state and they have to do all certain kind of protocols. It's just, I'm just kind of annoyed with a lot that's happening over there between you and me and the lamppost. So, yeah, so straighten some things out. Anyway, I'm using my herb, my herb scissor and one of my youtuber friends said linda do you have a p.o box because that the herb that that scissor you're using is crap and i have a better one i want to send you i said no i don't have a, a p.o box yet but i'm going to be getting a p.o box in a couple of weeks so whoever wants to whoever's interested and wants to send me a card or whatever or you know whoever whatever but i've had people ask me i used to have a p.o box and i just i didn't renew it um it wasn't really worth it to me. Um, so, um, but everybody's asking me again. So I'm going to do it for another trial run. Three, probably a three month then. And yeah, so anyway, she's she's telling me that she wants to send me a new um, scissor because she said this one I have stinks. I don't think it stinks. I actually like it. I 
think it works pretty, pretty good. But, well, thank you anyway. Whoever, who, I forget who it was. Maggie, maybe? I, 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 sorry, I don't remember. I'll go back and look. And, but, yeah, it was very nice of her. Okay, let me get the little thingy. I think it actually works very good. What were they talking about the earthquake, Bill, in 2000? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, This is going to be yummy, 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 yummy. So, guys, the holidays are over. What are your plans for the new year? Does anybody want to share? <laughs> I told you yesterday what our plans are. Our plans are putting ourselves in the forefront. Not neglecting anybody else. We don't have to neglect anybody else to put ourselves first, but we're, you know, we're putting ourselves first because it's time. It's time. Only got one life, guys. You live once, you know? Have that piece of pie. Have that whatever it is you want to have. All right, let's cut up some onion small. I'm not going to put that much onion because, again, I just put, um, what am I doing with this? It's a chicken one. Um, I just put um, scallions in, obviously. So I don't need a lot of onion, but I want some onion. Where is my other freaking new... Cutting boards. Why does everything disappear in this house? This doesn't go in there. I don't even know why. It's in there. I have to put this somewhere else. Hi, Koopy. Hi, buddy. But we didn't give him that ear stuff today yet. Ear medicine. He's been, um, we get him, we got him like ear drops because he's been shaking his head a little bit. And so I got to make him an appointment at the vet for next month. And uh, so um, we've been putting this ear stuff in. He seems definitely better. I don't know if he has an ear infection or what the story is, but yeah. Watch your fingers and uh, I should have used the bigger, the bigger um, dingy cutting board. Jeez, oh, this onion is, this freaking onion is strong. Shit. I was listening to music, guys. Um, Barbara Streisand from A Star Is Born, the, the original Star Is Born. I love her. I love the music from that movie, so I listen to it a lot. 
if you haven't seen Star is Born, the original, woo, with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, go see it because I'm, I get it. You know, rent it. It's amazing. Um, I I really enjoy the a Star is Born with, you know, um, Lady Gaga and stuff, but it's not the same Star is Born. Like, it's not Star is Born 2 or it's just it's a completely different, you know, movie, but it's um, it was a good movie. Like, I enjoyed it. But it definitely has nothing to do with the Star is Born original. Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite movie. That's my favorite, one of my favorite movies. And another one of my favorite movies is um, another one of her movies. It's too much on me. I'm going to not use all of it. Is um, um, The Way We Were with Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford. We love that movie. If you haven't seen that, guys, go see it. If you're my age, you probably did have seen it, but who knows. All right. Let's throw this out. We clean as we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's missed the freaking garbage. Um, all right. Egg. We're going to put a little bit of water in here to make it moist. Get in there. Mm. Smells yummy. Definitely smell the sesame seed oil. Definitely. A little more soy sauce. That's why I didn't put a lot of salt in it because, um, you know, soy sauce is salty enough. more water guys more moisture I like my mixtures wet to the touch I feel like if they're not wet to the touch they're not gonna be very um I think I'm gonna put the rest of the onion in it looked like a lot of onion but I don't really I don't think it is I think it's good I think it's gonna be good um I like my mixtures wet to the touch because that means it's gonna be moist. It'll be a moist meatball. Not dry, hopefully. So yeah, so I feel bad for Jen, you know. I almost said I almost told Billy, I said, let's just go freaking pick her up and bring her home. I don't know. I'm gonna see what happens if she, if she I hope she's not positive. If she's positive, I swear I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's a, a Enough is enough already with this freaking COVID shit going in there. I can't stand it. It's like never ending. Okay, I think that's good. Let me wash my hands and put oil in the pan and then we'll start rolling the meatballs, guys. Okay. So the oil's heating up. Let's just make the meatballs.
So what happened with him? What do you have? A whooping cloth is going around, supposedly. I thought that was just a kid's like thing. Whooping cough, I guess, is on the rise for adults. I don't know, guys. This world is scaring me a little bit. Yeah, COVID is just... Ever since... I feel like since COVID, ugh, just the whole world has gone crazy. You know, everything, everything is just like over the top and, you know, you, you, you just, I don't know. I don't know. This disease, that disease. Now, I'm not going to cook these for long in there. Well, yeah, I'm going to cook them just until they're done. You know, I'm not going to go crazy cooking them. But I'm saying I'm not going to overcook them or whatever. I'm just going to cook them because then they're going to cook in the sauce a little bit. That I'm going to do. I don't want them that big, like I said, because I don't want them to like, overpower the dish. I mean, yeah, they're, they're Asian meatballs, but, you know, the noodles and stuff. It's going to be yummy. Frankie's telling me he doesn't really like meatballs like any other way, but the other, it's an Italian meatball, so I don't know if he's going to eat these, but... Billy will take it for lunch, and we'll eat it, so. The oil's just about heated up. Start throwing these in. Guys, comment down below what you guys are eating for dinner. All right, let's see if we can start putting them in now. Onion peel. Onion peel in the... In the meat balls. All right, let's see. Overcrowd the pan, but it's good. Nice and cooking, guys. So excited. All right, guys. So I'm going to take, I just put, I just turned them all around. Moved them all around. I put it some, added some more in there. Um, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to take those out and put the rest in. Um, yeah, and once all the meatballs are done, then what I'll do is take the meatballs at totally, well, I'm taking them out of the pan, wipe out the pan a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the vegetables and the and the other onions that I have in there, um, in the sauce um, and the garlic. Let that come up, you know, uh, saute a little bit. And then I'll add um, the sauces and the vegetables. I'll add the vegetables, you know, and um, then we'll add this, we'll do the sauce, and then we'll put the meatballs all back in with the sauce and let that simmer a little while. And the noodles. And the noodles. Oh, the noodles of the stars show. 
So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take those out in one minute because those other ones I turned over and they were starting to get a little brown. So I'm gonna take those out. Because remember, they're gonna cook in the sauce too. So guys, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be launching something very special. You're going to see, that's all I'm going to say. The sun will come out tomorrow, at your bottom dollar tomorrow. If you're new here, <laughs> quite new, you won't know this, but I was just, when I was growing up, I loved to sing, and I thought it was pretty good. Anyway, I went to singing lessons, and I, I took these singing lessons, and they were having this, um, this, uh, what is it called? audition for Annie in my town and I had curly hair and I sang and all that and I looked like Annie a little bit so they um the singing lesson people they you know they had privy to all the um all the um you know uh thingies for the for the for the play you know um so there was a notice, so I went I went and tried out. And I didn't make it, of course. Well, not of course, but I didn't make it. And I'm glad I didn't make it because I love to sing. We, and we, we had to sing The Sun Up and Out tomorrow. That's why I was just singing that, so it reminded me of it. And um, I um, love to sing, but I wasn't like a performer, you know? Like, I didn't dance and all that and, like, I was shy, really, really, really shy and stuff. So thank God I didn't make it because if I would have made it, I would have been like, what the hell am I supposed to do? What am I doing here? You know, <laughs> I just love to sing and loved it so much. So, yeah, but um, it was a really nice experience. I was young. I don't even know how old I was. Maybe 12 or something like that. Yeah. It was definitely a fun experience, guys. And step with a day and roll. I just sit in my chair. A meatball, that's what it is. It's an Asian meatball. I did a good day that. Tell me how it is. I'm, I, I honestly want to know. Does it have an Asian flavor? Yeah. Hmm. Hot. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Mm, it's, good. it's really good. I like that. Really good. Think it has enough salt? Well, I put salt on mine, but yeah, I definitely need salt. You need salt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I went a little light on the salt because of the soy sauce. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. They're tasty, though, guys. You can really taste that um, that sesame oil. Sesame oil is really good, and you um, you can use it like as a topper too. You know, you don't only have to put it in in your whatever. You can put it on top, like after it's cooked. 
but you just got to be careful with it because it can be very overpowering. Anyway. Yeah, so Annie was fun. That was, that was a fun, Annie audition was fun. But yeah, um, I was very shy. Um, growing, but uh, I love to sing. Love it, love it. And I still do, obviously, because I sing a lot on my videos. <laughs> And yes, I'm a frustrated, I'm a frustrated singer. What are you doing in? You were just out to, how did he get in? Oh, you're in already? I thought he came in himself. I didn't even know you were in already. I thought Cooper let himself in because he does that a lot. If the door's open, he'll let himself in. And he'll be eating the garbage. I can put the garbage out. Oh. You don't need that toe, do you? Uh. You don't need that toe. With Cooper around, you don't need your toes. Oh no, now we're getting a snowstorm. Lovely. Alright guys, so what I'm doing is I'm taking out all of this kind of black stuff in here with the strainer spoon. Because I don't want... But I'm going to also take out some of this oil. I'm not going to keep all this oil in here. This is olive oil. Because this is like kind of burnt stuff and I don't want the whole dish to be like burnt. You know, taste burnt. Ooh, Linda, be careful. This is oil. Uh. So, I'm going to take out some of the oil. Because a lot of that's flavor, too, in there. But I don't want, you know, all of that. some of this oil guys uh, I'm gonna use the cover I'll just do that particles because I don't want it's like burnt particles is what it is all right say so, because that that's all flavor in there guys but I didn't want this burnt flavor. You know what I mean? All right, so let's put the pan back on. We'll put um, some more olive oil in there. This way the, um, the onions, oh, I have to cut up the onion. 
the onion and the garlic has somewhere to go. So let's cut up. Let's cut up this onion here. Bill, did you ask if she's gonna if he's going back there? Did you ask her now, like, is, is he going back there? there no, is is you, is he going back to the assisted living? No, as of now, he's staying in the hospital and they're trying to get him in the hospital. Oh, okay. Bill's dad. Put this onion in there. I think I'm going to go get another small onion. Because you guys know. We like onion. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. My house is always loaded with onions, guys. So Billy's dad is doing better, but he's, he's got some serious issues that um, they said they can't really resolve them. So they're looking at the hospice for him now. So, that's not great news, but, I don't know, it's hard, you know, guys. <sighs> I'm telling you. All right. Since I had this, where's that other garlic that I just put that at? Did I put it away? I must have put it away. Let me get the minced garlic. I'm going to put a little of the garlic in there. And then I'll put the um, the vegetables in. I'm just to saute just a little bit. Because once the vegetables go in, then the, the vegetables are gonna create a little bit of fluid, some water, so the moisture. So I don't want, I want these to get a little caramelized before I do that. Here are the Asian meatballs. Mm. So good, guys. Really good. Mm. 
mix the mixed vegetables. Love these great value brands. They don't have those um, lime beans in it. So. All right, let's put some seasoning in here. We'll put a little bit of garlic. Gotta, you have to um, season the vegetables just as much as you've um, seasoned the other stuff. Some onion. It's enough for onion. We got lots of onion going on in there. Pepper. A little bit of salt. And then we're gonna put, I'm gonna put the sauce in it. Start doing the sauce. Now, I made chicken broth the other day, guys. I told you that, right? You guys saw it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the chicken broth that I made, because I have it out, because I'm gonna be putting it down in the basement in the freezer. I put it in plastic containers. Just I just have one big one and a small one. There was a lot of a lot of water, like a lot of uh, broth in there, but it just dwindled down. Which is fine. I still have a lot. So just a little bit to give it some sort of base. Oh God. Then I'm gonna put some soy sauce. And we'll put a tiny bit of the, let me put this on so I can see what I'm doing here. Because there's, it's in the meatballs too, so I don't want it to overpower the, um, the dish, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna taste it to see how it is, what it, if it needs, what else it needs um, as far as, because mm. I want enough juice for the, um, for the meatballs, you know, to be coated in there. simmer a minute. Just a little bit of the fish sauce. Bell, 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 bell. Hi. I don't know if that would be an issue. It probably won't because it's, yeah, but who knows? It's all right, it's fine. Music copyright. I'm gonna let this simmer a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna taste it. Let's see if it needs anything. All right, guys. So I put the meatballs in in this sauce. I'm just letting it simmer. I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like if it needs anything. Ow. Guys, do you ever have dreams that weigh on you all day? I am such a dreamer. When I dream, like I dreamt of my father and my mother last night, and it's just been weighing on me all day today. a little bit more Asian. I have five spice in here. But it's, I, I can never find it when I freaking need it. I saw it the other day. It's the type of thing where I gotta take everything out. 
Sorry about the light, guys. Just give me a second. I gotta take everything out because it's in here, but I think it's in the back because I never use it. Oh, parsley, look at that. I didn't even know I had that in there. Five spice, smoked paprika. But if I wasn't looking for it, yeah, it'd be right in my face. Right there in my face it would be. Because there it is. Hallelujah. You ever use this? It's five spice. It's like a, you know, a Chinese seasoning. You just gotta be a little careful with it. It has, it's very, it, it smells very cinnamony. Yeah, it is, it is an Asian spice. It says it right there. It's an Asian spice. All right, I'm gonna keep it in the forefront. Now that it's just like Gravy Master, you know, Gravy Master's all the way in the back because you don't use it, you don't use it often, but you use it once in a blue moon. <laughs> and then you're searching for it. Where is my Gravy Master? Where is my... There you are, Five Spice. probably going to add a little bit more water. I'm not going to add more chicken broth because I think the, I don't want the chicken broth to dwindle out the flavor, but I want to add a little bit of water and then I'm going to add a little cornstarch to it because I think it needs a little bit of, whoo, needs a little bit of um, thickness. So let's do that. Let's add a little bit of water. And then I'll add a little bit of cornstarch. And then I'll put the noodles in, guys, and that's it. So what I do is I put a little bit of water. Probably about three tablespoons of water and then I put a little cornstarch in there whisk it up and then I'll put it into the um, in there cornstarch and this will make it you can do you can use flour you can use cornstarch to thicken it up a little bit Balls up, so I'm just gonna make a little spot <coughs> for it just to whisk it in so it doesn't lump up. And then you just give it a whisk until it gets a little thick and it'll thicken up. Now, when you put the um, when you put the noodles in, it'll have a little bit of a something to stick to, you know. I'm just gonna put the light on another minute. I just want it to taste, taste Asian y. So I hope it does. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Mm. That's really good. I really like that. I like that a lot. All right, noodles. Noodle, noodle, noodle. I got noodle, 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 noodle. Now I gotta be careful, cause like again, I don't want to break the meatballs up. That's the thing. I don't want them to become chopped meat. Be easy. And what I'll do is I'll put the cover on this 
and let the meat that because the noodles have to get a little warm. The noodles, the noodles are cooked. I cooked them already, but I just want them to get basted in the sauce and so I got 40,000 spoons out here. Where's that spoon? Yeah, this spoon is good. So I can, what I want to do is, say, base, put that sauce on the noodles. That looks so freaking yummy. Guys, look at that. Oh my God, doesn't that look so good? No, how would you know? Because you can't see it. <sighs> Linda, Linda, Linda. <laughs> Linda, Linda, Linda. Did you know that Linda means beautiful in Spanish? One of my YouTubers told me that. I knew that for my whole life I've known that. But I thought that was sweet that she said that to me. She said, yeah, it means beautiful. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. That looks so freaking, freaking, and yes, I'm going to say it again, freaking amazing. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Meatball noodle hibachi. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling, time and time. All right, let's just oh, <laughs> cover this. I'm killing you over here. We're going to cover this. I'm going to put it on low for a couple of minutes. Um, we can probably use these spoons. And guys, that's it. Dinner is going to be ready. A one-pot meal. Really wasn't that stressful. It was really pretty simple. And guys, this is just a meal that I made off the top of my head. It's like hibachi rice when I make it. If you want a recipe, you can go and get a recipe on Pinterest or whatever. If you really want my recipe, I can write it down for you. What I did, it's up to you. Um, there is another recipe that I have to put up here for Rhonda from Rhonda's Country Kitchen. She asked me, what, what was it? Oh, God. Apple, was it the apple crisp? No. I forget. Oh, no, no, no. Crab Rangoons. Crab Rangoons. Rhonda, I'm going to try to get that up there. I'm going to try to get that up there. But honestly, I really just got it from the from, from Pinterest. So if you want to just Google it, you could just Google it. Um, it's very, very simple. And Or you can just watch my, my video again. All it is is the cream cheese. It's scallions. It's a little bit of the sesame oil. I don't measure. I just, you know, taste. Uh, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, and the and the imitation crab meat. Um, you can either chop it up really thin, it's really really small, or chop if you like big chunks. I chopped in the Cuisinart, made it really really nice and and smooth, you know, but delicious. And just put it right into the guangtongs, fry and fry them up in the air fryer or in a little oil, whatever, or in the oven. You can put it on a high oven like 450. Bake them in the oven. It's all up to you how you want to make them, but they're so freaking good and like three ingredients. It's so easy. So easy. So, yeah. So, this is there. It's absolutely there. I'm going to throw some fresh scallions on it. Oh, see, that meatball broke up a little bit. Got to be careful. Don't want the meatballs to... Be chat me. And I feel like it needs a little bit more, like a little bit more moisture. Like I, I always, I always want more moisture in there, but I don't want to water it down. You know what I mean? So I end up adding a little bit more water and then I end up adding a little bit more of the seasonings because you don't want to take that flavor out of there. So I'll just add a little bit more soy sauce because I added a little bit more water. And then that's it. This is done. It's done. It's done. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. All right, guys. There we go. I'm gonna make uh, make our dishes. Well, I'll make mine. Billy will make his dish. Or I'll help him, whatever. And I'll be back in a minute. And then after I eat. I'll do my, um, my common quote. 
All right, guys, look at this. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Billy says it's amazing. I'm going to turn these around, and I'm going to taste it for you guys. All right. I already tasted the meatball, but I'll get a little piece of meatball. You know that. I tasted that in front of you. I put a little sweet chili sauce on mine. Yum. Oh, that's all I have to say. Yummers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. It's like... It's like hibachi rice, but... Hibachi noodles, you know what I mean? With the meatballs. Did you put egg in it? Oh, I meant to put egg in it. That's not hibachi. No, I, and I, <laughs> I said to myself, I'm going to put egg in it, and I'm not going to freaking forget. So upset now. It's fine. It tastes great. But it's good. <clears throat> it's if it was rice, I'd be I'd miss it more, I think, but noodles, I mean it would be good with noodles too. Right okay, don't have any. It would be really good with, with the noodles too, but how did she forget? More for us. Cooper still wants some. Slurping on create with Linda. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to eat this, and I'm going to come back with my common quote, and we'll get that done. And I will be back, guys, I promise. I know I said that yesterday, and I didn't come back, but I'll be back with my common quote, hopefully. <laughs> now I will see you in a minute. All right, so I'm doing the quote tonight out of the Compassion book. I was looking at the books, and I'm like, oh, I haven't done one out of the Compassion book, maybe one or two, I don't even know, but... But I, I went through the pages and I saw this and I thought this was really, really good. It is a lack, it is a lack of, uh, give me a second, guys. As soon as I press play, the yawning starts. It is a lack of love for ourselves that inhibits our compassion toward others. If we make friends with ourselves, that there is no obstacle to opening our hearts and minds to others. I like that. It is a lack of love for ourselves that inhibits our compassion toward others. If we make friends with ourselves, then there is no obstacle to opening our hearts and minds to others. So what that really means is if you love yourself, ugh, if you love yourself, you can love and have compassion for others. So it starts here. So that's what you, you have to, you know, you have to love yourself. If people say you have to love yourself in order to love somebody else, it's kind of true. You know, if you if you love yourself and you um, accept yourself the way you are, I love that. You'll be able to give that to other people and to show that compassion and 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 all that to other people. So work. Just try to love yourself, guys. It's it's not easy. I know. It's not easy. There's so much going on in the world and so much going on with us. It's not easy. But love yourself, guys. You can love somebody else, okay? That is my quote for tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The, the food came out amazing. If I could tell you, this dish is a definitely a repeater in my house because I my husband loved it. I loved it. It's delicious. It's not overpowering. It's really, really good, guys. Really delicious. You should really try it. If you want, I'll put the recipe down. Let me know. Let me know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. And I so, so appreciate it. 
Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like, share, and comment down below. Sorry. I think I have a yawning disease tonight. Um, thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and creating. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. See you on the next one. Bye. Love you. Bye.